Today I'm going to show you how I produced my song Blue Balloons featuring Semler. So me and Grace wrote this song when we first met like two years ago. I was like I'm going to stick some stuff in my guitar to make it sound weird and record that. But I took my acoustic, I put some paper towel right on the bridge to get that plucky uh, rubber bridge guitar sound. And so I did that and then I strummed the chord. Next. And we get to second verse and we do some open D tuning. I added a lot of electric guitars after that. So my favorite electric guitar plugin that I've been using a lot on this record called Archetype Plenty and it has these really really pretty like guitar tones. So most of most of the guitars on this are using this plugin. I kind of wanted this song to feel like you were just like stuck in this space. Cause this song is about being misgendered at your own birthday party and how fucking awkward that space is of like, it's annoying to have been misgendered, but also I'm not like angry about it, but I'm also not like, that's fine. So it's this weird in between space of like, <laughs> and it just felt weird. So I wanted this song like tonally to match that. We have some textures in that first chorus, this uh, little party ambience. Threw a little bit of reverb on it, rolled off some high end. Vocals were really straightforward. My family, that's not the new. Little bit of verb. Well, so with the chorus, I, I wanted to have a little bit of like, so the song is called Blue Balloons, right? And I wanted it to sound like a little bit of like sucking helium. Be fine if I want to, fine if I want to, fine. Very like airy and then one of them is pitched with a little bit of altar boy. Someone starts singing with me in the second verse. I'm not sad, you know I don't cry. And I really wanted Summer's voice to sound very eerie as well, so I threw on a slapback delay. But I was blowing out the candles. The bridge is where I start playing around with more guitars, kind of uh, up the distortion a little bit. I think my favorite part of the song is is the gang vocals. Makes it sound like a lot of people sang this chorus with us, but it was entirely just me and Grace. That was me and Grace in this room, standing really far back to the mic, and just singing like that. I think of all the songs on this record, I think this song has some of my favorite ad-libs. Yeah, it's me. 